when I got into the lawn mowing business, residential lawn mowing, I was in it for about a year or two, and I was not sure that I really liked the business. I wasn't seeing the money. We weren't making enough money. I just didn't think it was going to be that great of a business, but I kept running the numbers, and I thought, you know what? There's something to this. I want to stick it out, but I had contemplated getting out of the business. So the two keys to making money in lawn mowing are, one, you have to keep your service market as small and as tight as possible. And then you have to be diehard about not expanding that until you absolutely have to, meaning you can't easily continue to grow within your current market. The smaller you make it, the tighter you build your routes, and the tighter your density, the more profit you will make because you're driving the non-billable time out of your business. So every time you're moving the truck, every time they're driving, every time they're loading and unloading, that costs money. That's non-billable time. When you eliminate that, that money you recover is pure profit. So for example, if you are driving 10 minutes between jobs, that's non-billable time. All that drive time, all that labor time, all of that is non-billable. And so when you now start to work for that 10 minute period that you used to lose to driving, that 10 minutes, you, you are the, the labor you were spending to drive was a sunk cost. And so now when you go sell a $20 job to fill that 10 minutes, that $20 is essentially pure profit as compared to wasting that, not ever earning that $20 before, but yet still paying out the expense. So once you work really, really hard on optimizing your routes, building really deep density, the next thing you want to optimize is non-billable time. You want to drive non-billable time out of your, your company. You want to optimize your company to eliminate non-billable time. So at Cert City Turf, we've used functionality to track non-billable time, drive time, load time, maintenance time, filling the truck, getting ice, getting gas. Um, you can go down the list, maintenance, all these different things. And then when you figure out which one of those things is your biggest offender. So for example, your mowing crews are wasting the most amount of time. Their biggest non-billable area is fueling the truck. Then you focus on that as a company. Okay, how can we change this? Maybe we could get gas at night instead of getting gas in the morning. Maybe we could ask them, maybe we could get an ice machine because that's one of the reasons they have to go to the gas station. If we have an on-site ice machine, they can bring their own snacks and food for the day. We can get, tra we can get gas at the end of the day. And suddenly, we greatly lower the amount of payroll that we're paying and the amount of wasted non-billable time. And you go through those things one after another. You look at maintenance. You look at filling the truck. You look at loading. You look at unloading. You look at all of these different non-billable areas. You start with the biggest offender first. You fix it. Then you move to the next one. You fix it. And you work on this company-wide. When you do that, your profits go up really fast because that's where all your profit is trapped at. That's where there's a lot of money seeping out of your company that you're losing it. So focus on those two things, the tightest route you can possibly build, and then be ruthless with getting the non-billable time out of your business.